country. And today I get to bring you along for a really fun way to do an Italian pasta salad without the pasta. So I, I've been using spaghetti squash for quite some time for a pasta alternative. And I thought I was craving my favorite pasta salad and I thought, you know, I'm gonna do it with spaghetti squash. So this is a salad that I make that um, we usually use a pound of pasta. So I'm replacing it with one pretty good size, uh, there's probably six cups of spaghetti squash in here. And I also have one zucchini that I julienned and salted that down and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And what that does is it pulls some of the moisture out so it can t stay kind of crisp. So if this inspires you to stay for the whole thing and see how this goes together, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Check out the links that I've left for you in the description box. And uh, oh yeah, because I've got some good ones over there. And join me on Facebook. Okay, so I challenge all of you to tell me your favorite way to use spaghetti squash too. So I've got a can of uh, sliced olives and those are optional. My husband, he picks them out. He's not a fan of olives. But it's okay if I have it in there. <laughs> and you're going to need a red onion. I used about a half of a pretty good size one. And I've got tons of veg here. This is going to be great. I've got about a half cup of pepperoncini peppers, um, one orange bell pepper, one red bell pepper, two diced seeded jalapenos, and that's optional if you wanted to keep it a little more traditional. I've also got um, some cherry grape tomatoes that I sliced in half. That's a half, you must have those. And the red bell pepper, I'm using about half of each pepper, kind of half. <laughs> I wanna make sure there's room in the bowl. And then I've got some artichoke hearts that have been marinated, so they've got some added flavor and punch. Delicious. Mm. So this is a great salad to take to a party. And if you don't like spaghetti squash or you can't get the spaghetti squash where you are, you can certainly add the pasta. I'm going to leave that out for snacks. And now we've got what really makes this salad delicious is you've got some meat going in here. And it, I've got some fresh mozzarella. Now you don't want to use the um, part skin hard stuff. You want to use the fresh soft stuff. Why? Because mm, it's delicious. Because it's really good. Okay, and I've got some black forest ham. Sometimes I use pepperoni. I just cut this up into little bite-sized diced pieces. And to cook that spaghetti squash, it goes in the microwave for 10 to 12 minutes. Here's a hole in it or you'll have an explosion you're not ready for. And then I've got here um, salami and I've cut these in quarters, these slices, and this is low sodium. That totally is up to you what you use, whether you use, you know, full sodium, full fat. Oh no, actually it was low sodium and reduced fat. So I'm trying to make this healthier. And my bowl is full. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add those peppers right in. Why not? They fit. That little bit wasn't going to keep me from. And then you kind of want to toss it around a little bit. And I'm using. So now that we have this all mixed together, and I used almost a whole bottle of salad dressing, we're going to go ahead and give you a taste test. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's everything that I hope for. <laughs> and then some. I love it. Can't wait to have a whole right, bowl of this. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love it. So I'm gonna try to get a bite of everything. Actually, there'll probably be a couple bites. Sorry. Okay, hard to go through that meat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. The sweetness from the squash 
really balances this well. I really, really like it. I love having the salami in there and the ham is delicious. This is a black forest ham that's just so good. And what a great way to have a summer salad without those added carbs. And this made a lot of food and it's gonna be super delicious. It'll be better tomorrow. Absolutely phenomenal. So guys, I hope this inspires you to go ahead and try your own hand at making a summer salad. Maybe make your favorite salad, put a different twist on it and add spaghetti squash. And if this does inspire you, I hope you leave me a comment in the section below and tell me how you'd like to make it. And uh, maybe give me a suggestion on something else you'd like to see. Go check out the links and I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe on a Thursday, Monday, or Saturday. All right, bye guys.